Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Nerd Math. In this video, I will teach you about exponents. So what do we mean by exponents? So basically, exponent tells us how many times you will multiply a number by itself. So let's say we have the exponential equation 2 to the 5th equals 32. So this is an example of exponential equation because we have here a base, an exponent of 5, and a power of 32. So this 2 is the base, this 5 is the exponent, and this 32 is the power. So 32 is the 5th power of 2, or 2 to the 5th power is 32. So how do we arrive at this value of 32? That is equivalent to 2 raised to the 5th power, or 2 to the 5th. So, from the definition of exponent, it tells how many times you will multiply a number by itself. So, we refer to this number here as the base, which is in our example is 2. So, meaning, since we have an exponent of 5, we will multiply the base 2 by itself 5 times. So, therefore, 2 to the 5th is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 total of 5 factors of 2 since the exponent is 5 so therefore when you simplify 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 it is equivalent to 32 okay likewise when we have 1 third raised to the third power so applying the concept of exponent we have the base as 1 third and the exponent of 3, therefore 1 third raised to the third power means we are multiplying the base 1 third 3 times by itself. So we have 1 third times 1 third times 1 third or multiplying these fractions for the numerator we have 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 over multiply the denominators we have 3 times 3 times 3 it is 27. So therefore, 1 third to the third power is 1 over 27. Next, how about negative 4 to the fourth power? So it means that the base here is negative 4 and the exponent is 4. So it means that we will multiply negative 4 by itself 4 times. So negative 4 to the fourth is equivalent to negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 total of 4 factors so when you simplify this negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is equal to positive 256 okay what if we have negative 4 raised to the fourth power so this expression is different from the previous example in the sense that for the previous example, we have the negative 4 enclosed inside the parentheses and then we raise to the 4th power. So for this expression, the base that we have is the actual number inside the parentheses, which is negative 4. While for this example, we don't have a parentheses enclosing the negative 4. Right? So what it means is that the only base that we can consider for negative 4 raised to the 4th without parentheses is just 4. And this negative means that after we have found the final value of the expression 4 to the 4th, we will just need to multiply that value by negative 1. So that's the difference between these expressions because most of the students tend to commit mistakes when they encounter these expressions. So the most common mistake that they have is that they consider this negative 4 to the 4th equivalent to negative 4 to the 4th, which is not correct. Why? Because negative 4 to the 4th is equivalent to what? So I have told you already that the correct base here is 4, not negative 4 since we don't have a parenthesis, right? So therefore, we will multiply the base 4 4 times by itself because the exponent is 4. So we have 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And then this negative here is just a negative 1 multiplied to this expression. So we can just put a negative sign before the first 4. So that... When you multiply negative 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, it is negative 256. So you see, negative 256 is not equivalent to negative 4 raised to the 4th, which is, as what we get a while ago, it is equivalent to positive 256, right? 
So always be careful when simplifying these types of exponential expressions. Okay? Next, what if we have negative of negative 2 to the 4th over 3 to the 3rd? So, we have a fraction whose numerator and denominator are exponential expressions. So, we simplify each of the numerator and denominator. So, for the numerator first, so this time we have a negative multiplied by a negative 2 inside the parentheses raised to the fourth power. So, what it means is that the base here is negative 2 and then this negative again means that after we have simplified the expression negative 2 with parentheses raised to the fourth, we just need to multiply the value by negative 1. Okay? So, therefore, we simplify first the negative 2 raised to the fourth. So, we multiply the base negative 2 four times. So, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, right? And then this negative 1 will just put before the first negative 2. It means that we will multiply this expression by negative 1, okay? So for the denominator, we have 3 cubes. So it means the base is 3 and we will multiply the base 3 3 times by itself because of the exponent of 3. So 3 cubed is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. So simplifying, we have for the numerator, we have let us simplify this first. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. So that we have positive 16 times negative 1 or negative 16. Over 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So therefore, the value of the expression is negative 16 over 27. Okay? So, what if this time we are given a reverse scenario? For example, we are given 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And what we need to find is the equivalent exponential expression for this. So, applying the concept that we have discussed, so since we are multiplying 2, Six times by itself, it means that the base is 2, right? So, it is equal to 2 raised to, since we have a total of 6 factors, the exponent is 6. So, it is equivalent to 2 raised to the 6th power. Or if you multiply this, it is equivalent to 64. Okay? Likewise, if we have 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds, in exponential expression, it is equivalent to the base 2 thirds multiplied 3 times by itself or 2 thirds raised to the third power. Or it is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 over 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Okay? Next, what if we have negative 3 times 3 times 3? So, this time, the base that we can consider here is positive 3, right? Because this negative here, as in the previous example, only means that after we have simplified this 3 times 3 times 3, we will just need to multiply that value by negative 1. So, therefore, if we try to translate this into exponential expression, we can consider the base here as positive 3. And then, since we have 3 factors of 3, the exponent is 3. And then, we just put the negative before the 3 to the 3rd power. So, it is equivalent to negative 27. Okay, next, let's consider the 0 and negative exponents. So, so far in our examples, we consider only positive integer exponents, right? So, let's consider also the 0 and negative exponents. So, let's start with the 0 exponent. So, we have a rule for 0 exponent. We have x raised to 0 is equal to 1, where x is not equal to 0. So, this x can be any number except 0. So, if you raise any number to 0, the answer is always equal to 1. For example, 1 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 2 raised to 0 also equal to 1. And even larger numbers, raised to 0 is still 1. Let's say... 1 million raised to 0 is still 1. So, that's the rule for 0 exponent. Next, let's have the negative exponents. 
So we have x raised to negative n equal to 1 over x raised to n or 1 over x raised to negative n is equal to x raised to n where x is not equal to 0. So x here can be any number except 0. So if we have any base raised to a negative exponent, let's say negative n, we can apply this rule. So for example, we have 2 raised to negative 2. So here we have the base acting as x is equal to 2 and our n is 2, right? So applying this pattern, it is equivalent to 1 over x raised to n or 1 over x is 2 and then the exponent will be 2. So it is equal to 1 over 2 squared or 2 times 2 or 1 over 4. Okay? Next, what if we have 1 over 2 raised to negative 3? So this time, it follows this pattern. So our x here is 2 and our n here is 3. So that it is equal to x raised to n, right? So we have x is equal to 2 and then n is equal to 3. So 1 over 2 to the negative 3 power is equivalent to 2 to the third power or 2 times 2 times 2 or 8. Okay? Another one, what if we have 3 to the negative 2 over 2 to the negative 3? So this 3 to the negative 2 it is equivalent to 1 over 3 to the second power, right? Applying this rule. Then this 2 raised to the negative 3 in the denominator is equivalent to applying this form times 2 to the positive third power. So that when we simplify this, we have 1 over 3 squared is 1, 9 times 2 third is 8. So we have 1 over 9 times 8 is 8 over 9. Okay. okay, so I think that's it for this video exponents. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.